work-life balance as an executive? Is there such a thing as being able to balance your personal life and your professional life? On the professional side, we're looking at trying to sharpen our leadership skills, enhance decision-making abilities, and boost our confidence. But we recognize that we need professional growth and personal fulfillment. Well, today I'm Dr. Shante Haynes, and we're talking about those affirmations that we need based on God's word to ensure that as an executive, we have a career and life balance and transformation in such. So we're going to look to God's word because God's word always has the answers in which we need. So we're going to go there to see exactly what God says and get our minds right so that as we adjust our minds, everything else will fall into place. We recognize balance is only possible through God's word. So let's go on in with these crown adjusting affirmations for executives for career and life transformation. See you on the other side. Crown adjusting affirmations for career and life transformation. I am well balanced, sober minded, and vigilant. First Peter, the fifth chapter, and the eighth verse. I prioritize my faith and values. The 119th Psalm, verse 30. My schedule reflects my priorities. I prioritize people over profits. Relationships are more important than productivity. My ability to influence others is a privilege. I treat it as such. As a leader, both professionally and personally, I value those I lead. I govern diligently and show mercy. Romans, the 12th chapter, the 8th verse. I lead with honesty and integrity. I balance my work life and my home life. I prioritize my family and they know it. I am fully present when at home and at work. I manage time wisely. I make wise decisions that benefit all involved. I am focused. I do not lack direction. I am divinely aligned with God's plan for me. I listen to wise counsel, which provides safety. Proverbs, the 24th chapter, the 6th verse. I am moving forward in my career with fulfillment. I value my mentors and the rooms I am privileged to be in. I set SMART goals and work toward achieving them. My goals include development of my leadership skills. I actively work on personal development. I have God-given abilities. I have been positioned by God to be where I am. 
I am in the right place at the right time. The 25th Psalm, verse 12. I am chosen, competent, and compassionate. I encourage and empower others. I am encouraged by those I am privileged to help. I inspire and influence others positively. I am becoming a better version of myself. I am developing professional skills for my next level. I am continually moving forward. I am enjoying every season of my life to the fullest. Well, welcome back. Here's the thing. If we don't get our life in balance with both our career and our personal life, our professional and our personal life, there can be career stagnation, there can be a lack of direction, and those balance issues are going to show up in our goal setting, in our accountability, in our personal development, and not having the right strategies. But if we are not divinely aligned, if we don't have our faith, our facts, and our family all together with our businesses, hmm, we're going to have a problem. We have to know exactly what it is that God has called us to do. That is important. Now, I've heard many a business owner say that many of the strategies that they have are being given by others in their mastermind groups are not exactly what they would do. It doesn't follow the biblical principle. We know God was very specific. Jesus was extremely specific when he was here on this earth. He made an offer that no one could refuse, but they did. But he was, it was a clear offer. And so when we are knowing who we are, we know whose we are, and we know what we're called to do, things just align perfectly. But we've got to awaken that inner fire on the inside to know our purpose, our true purpose of why we were created. So I would like to offer you today an opportunity to just get seven keys to awaken your inner fire. It'll cultivate this fulfillment in every aspect of your life, professionally and personally. I want to make sure that you succeed, not just in the C-suite, but you succeed at home as well. So go ahead to my website, shantahaines.com forward slash awaken, and you will be able to dive right in. That's a quick read. It's a checklist. Make sure you are aligned. It gives you some keys, some things that you want to pay attention to. So go to my website and get that. Let's go ahead and seal the deal today with a prayer. Most gracious God, you have called us to so much. You have created us for such a time as this, and you have given us the gifts and the talents in order to accomplish it. But Father, we recognize that our gifts are not for us, they're for others, that our leadership should be improved so that we lead more effectively, appropriately, and we influence more people. We recognize that our positions are not just there so that we can take up space or to get accolades, but you placed us in, in positions that allow us to afford opportunities to so many. But when we think about all of what we do on the business side and what we do on the personal side, Father, we want it to be in balance, balanced by faith, your word, balanced by you. You told us in your word in First Peter that we need to be well balanced because our adversary is waiting he is waiting to mess us up and we don't want that. So for us to be well balanced, Lord, we put you first and everything else comes second. Help us to be present with our family members and our friends. Help us to prioritize them after you. Help us to be the excellent workers and leaders and executives that we can be at work, that others will look to us as examples. 
but let us be an example both at home and in the workforce. We thank you, Lord, that you know what it is that you've called us to and you can position us in places. You can give us the right words, the right actions, help us to make the right decisions as we move forward. We will continue to lift those affirmations up, those confessions of faith that you are steeped in your promises, the words that you have said. You said that your word will not return void and it will accomplish everything you set it out to do. We believe that, we receive that, and we walk in it. We are more than conquerors. We're victorious in everything that we do because we are relying wholly on you. God, we thank you in advance for the changes that you're making. We're thanking you in advance for speaking to each and every one of us. God, we're thanking you in advance for the miracles that are coming, the people that are going to be changed, for allowing us to be servants in your kingdom. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, it is truly my pleasure to bring you powerful messages and studies and stories and about career life balance and the significance that you can transform. I want you to recognize that you can transform. You're not out there by yourself, all right? So go ahead and subscribe, like, and share this particular channel. Get the information that you need. Get the affirmations. Remind yourself of who you really are. Adjust your crown. Get the questions answered that you want. Um, sit with those that have been interviewed. Get the information because it's available here. I want to help you reframe your story, reinvent yourself, and reimagine your future because your future is so bright, you need sunglasses for it. Uh, my goal is for you to enhance your satisfaction, both in career as well as personal. So I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministry. It truly is my pleasure to help you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your evening.